Hi everyone. Today we will talk about this uh, code on social security Karnataka rules, uh, which were recently notified uh, for public comments. We will pick up certain key uh, important highlights and changes brought on this topic. But before I get into the Karnataka rules, uh, you need to know the code, uh, the social security code, and the central rules briefly, so that the Karnataka rules can be uh, connected and understood properly. And uh, if you look at the code. the code consolidates nine statutes on social security uh, related to both organized and unorganized uh, sectors uh, basically statutes on esi pf and uh, gratuity maternity benefit and sine workers and these are large largely regulate the organized sector whereas this employee compensation applies to both organized and unorganized sectors and uh, statutes related to this uh, bocw we can call it as uh, building and other construction workers welfare and unorganized workers applies to the unorganized sector and in addition to this the code also subsumes the statutes uh, related to the notification of vacancies and all these statutes are now subsumed into the social security code 2020 and uh, the beauty of this code is the code gets one step beyond the current coverage because it also covers and non traditional uh, employments like uh, people who work with uh, aggregators uh, gig workers and uh, platform workers and also uh, the code powers the government to roll out social security schemes for uh, these workers and even though both states and central governments can make rules on certain topics uh, as provided under section 154 the central government alone retains the powers to make exclusive rules and schemes for national applications uh, including esi provident fund gig and platform workers under section 155 and the state and central governments in the capacity of the appropriate government can also frame rules related to gratuity maternity benefits a employee compensation and few other matters under section 154 and in in addition to this the appropriate governments have powers to administer welfare schemes especially related to uh, building and other construction workers unorganized workers and certain provisions related to the insurance code inspection of establishment and few more topics however the central government retains the power to frame rules on common topics in these segments also one more point uh, we need to know uh, is that the state government has the power to make rules on, on certain topics under section 156 in the capacity of the state government where the central government has nothing to say now friends i give you uh, i gave you certain brief about the social security code and and the central rules and their powers now let me get into the code on social security karnataka draft rules see basically these rules were notified on 4th april 2022 and published in the uh, gazette on 18th april 2022 and of course the public will have 45 days time to send their comments objections and suggestions and the government after giving consideration to the comments the rules will be notified for application in the state of karnataka and let me give you certain key highlights of Uh, the rules and changes which were brought especially in this uh, karnataka rules see the rules provide for the constitution of karnataka unorganized workers social security board and the karnataka building and other construction uh, welfare board and the nomination for gratuity is now prescribed in form 1 and you have to ensure that the existing employees submit the nomination form within 90 days from the date of implementation of the code and you also have to ensure that the new employees submits the nomination within 30 days from the completion of one year of service and even though there is there are rules which provide for filing a notice to pay gratuity to the employer by the employee but if you look at the law the law mandates that the employer to calculate the gratuity and pay within uh, 30 days from the date of gratuity becomes payable and the employer has a responsibility to intimate the competent authority about the payment of gratuity to the employee this is one of the important responsibility which you uh, need to remember and let me also tell you that specifying the payment of funeral expenses in case the employment injury leads to death is with the state government for the cases not falling under esi but eligible for compensation under the employee compensation chapter and therefore the karnataka rules now prescribes the deposit of rupees 25000 rupees with the competent authority 
towards the expenditure of the funeral of the deceased employee and which the competent authority pays these amounts to the eldest surviving member of the deceased uh, employee or eldest member of the surviving uh, dependent and this amount can be enhanced by the state government by notification from time to time also the rules also mandates friends the employer of an establishment wherein 500 workmen or more are employed to maintain a notice book in form 8 uh, uh, for employee compensation matters and the rules also mandate the employer of every establishment to maintain a register of women employees in form 14 if women employees are employed in the establishment and the code also mandates the submission of unified annual return in form uh, 15 on or before the last day of february and if you look at friends the, all the codes have the annual returns and the annual returns will be unified and this form 15 is common to all the codes and the rules also prescribe the submission of additional unif- uh, unified returns in form 15 if the employer sells abandons or discontinues the working of the establishment and this should be filed within 1 month in case of sale or aband- abandonment and within 4 months in case of discontinuation of the business in respect of the period between the end of preceding year and the date of sale abandonment or discontinuation and the karnataka government will come up with an inspection scheme for matters other than esi and pf because the esi and pf is largely the central government by way of notification and in all probability the existing web based inspection scheme and self certification uh, possibilities will be uh, notified and the inspectors who come for inspection as per the inspection scheme can also check the compliances and registers required to be maintained under all the codes including social security code code on wages and also ir code and osh and wc code and friends i already told you in the beginning that the code provides extensive powers to the central government on common topics to frame the rules and therefore now the karnataka rules clearly specifies that the forms or registers prescribed by by the code on social security central rules 2020 may mutatis mutandis be adopted by every employer employee authority or inspector where such forms or registers are not specifically provided under these rules this meaning is that the rule, the registers and uh forms which are prescribed under the central rules are to be applied and also to be fo- you know followed wherever the specific forms are not prescribed under these rules and the rules also provide many more points related to certain procedural matters friends which may not be of much importance or interest to us now but going ahead i will keep discussing the important points for our compliance needs and therefore please stay connected and keep watching the channel for updates now friends allow me to sign off i will come back with new information in the new video if this video has made sense to you and added value to your knowledge please do share comment and like the video see you all again in the next video friends